From the early days of DJing, sampling has been an art form. Sampling has become very different from whenever it first started to where it has become now. We now have access to millions of different audio everywhere. We don't even need to leave our homes. I was cruising through social media and then it came to me. Some of the videos that I watch, I sometimes try to think about the sounds that they have. So what I did is I made a sample pack for you guys. I have went through social media posts and I have all the videos, audios, and then process audios all in one folder for you guys to download. And that'll be in the description. I got the idea from beat challenges that they see on Twitch. They take random samples from social media, just anything that sounds cool, and then they try to introduce it in the songs. And whenever I got these samples and I participated in these events, I was actually kind of surprised on how interesting and abstract working with it is. I felt like my improvisation skills were working a little bit better. It was definitely taking out of my own workflow. So that's the general idea behind the sample pack. Now with these samples, these aren't the most amazing samples. Some of them you're not gonna like. But the reason why I made this sample pack is it's something that you could just take a sample, put it into your DAW, and then you think to yourself, how am I gonna make this work? It's really good practice. Before we start opening up this pack, I start listening to the sounds and showing you what I do. I just want you to have an open mind about how it can take you from out of a rut, a creative rut that you've been in, and make you think different ways about the samples. And some of the samples are really cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I kind of did. We'll look at the, the videos and stuff. Now this sample pack will be given out in the link in the description. Anybody that was supporting me on Patreon absolutely got first dibs. So make sure you go to my Patreon. Or for $5, $10, I also have other sample packs and other materials that you guys can use and I think it's really cool. I think it's cool, they might be kind of mid to you. But either way, it supports the channel and supports my efforts of being of a musician. I'm tired of working in construction. Okay, let's look at the videos that I kind of extracted. <laughs> Just good old fashioned drums, world class drums. Uh, I thought it'd be interesting to kind of use those samples and try to break it into something. I, th I think dubstep would have kind of worked with this. Stuff stuff like this. Yeah, I think we did. This is one of my favorites. One, two, shake it, shake it. One, two, shake, shake. Okay, so we come back to the left. The same position, okay? Don't forget here. And you have one, two. Shake, shake, one, two, shake, shake, and then you go one, two, shake, shake, one, two, shake, 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 shake. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Check this out. This bug. And I'm gonna show you my favorite sample out of all of these. This one right here. Listen, listen to that rhythm. Dubstep birds, dude. Dubstep birds. Okay, one more. Yeah, so apparently they've raised this bird around Star Wars and stuff, so he's mimicking some of the droid sounds and stuff. So uh, this is, it's some really cool stuff that I kind of uh, dug into. It's going to be kind of extract, and you have to work with the audio. I think it's like the best ideas you could probably get is like with some sound design. And I'll show you how we do this in a little bit, but I've tried to do it with the sound design with just the audio itself. But what happens is, is that there's background noise. So if you listen to one of these... There's a lot of background noise in it. This bird on my head says, what the fuck? What the fuck? So you can kind of hear the AC in there. And so whenever you're doing the sample, those noises kind of come through and it's kind of hard to work with because you need to have a better sample, right? So what I did is I've extracted the audio to all of these and I started using a program that I got a free trial for, Spectral Layers. And I'm actually really interested and actually buying this because I do rip samples off the internet and then I and then I find out I can't work with them. And it's also just good for any um, processing. So spectral layers is, uh, is spectral processing. And if you don't know what spectral processing is, 
Spectral processing is basically taking your audio and converting it into a physical photo, so like a JPEG. You can use Photoshop tools to make it sound whatever you want to sound like. So that's just what the pack is. I have the video and the audio and the audio process, so check it out. So if you ever want to do like a crazy little TikTok, you know, where you get your little birds and you're like, check this out. I made a remix of some bird dubstep over here. Take the video. And then you got your drop. Hell yeah, that's what you can do. Won't be doing this like this again, but I do like taking audio from videos. It's 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 so unique. There, there's a lot of, I like a lot of world class, the world drums, uh, check this one out. I bet you like come across stuff like that and he never thought to like, man, I should probably sample that and put it into a song. So I put all that work out for it and I got some of it. And just to kind of show you how it can jade up your workflow and just kind of give you a new perspective on the way you use samples, we're gonna go ahead and make a tiny little drop with some of the samples that I have. Load up Ableton. While this is loading up, you should definitely hit like and subscribe and comment if you want more stuff like this. I'll give you free samples, I don't care. Ah. Uh. So we have our folder over here. We got audio, audio process, and video. I have it renamed the sample project. I will rename it by the time this video comes out. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do the auto warp large samples. By the way, apparently Ableton came out with this new update on the auto warp of long samples. So I'm gonna try it out. Let me see if it works now. Where is it? 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 Psh. Auto warp long sample. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's take a look at that. Let's see what's going on here. What BPM do you think that is? Oh, that's kind of good. I don't know if it really is though. It hits, it's hitting some of it. <laughs> I don't know how to warp this, honestly. Such an interesting, such an interesting thing. I was researching what that was. He's speaking to him in like music theory terms. It's really, it's kind of interesting. So over in the Middle East, they don't have the same music theory that we do. Instead of like one and two and three and four and they got this da 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 da. That's what they do. But also like they kind of speak it whenever they're directing the drums and stuff. So they speak this language in there. So instead of doing one and two and three and four like this drum beat I'm about to do, they that's what they do. So it's kind of interesting. But yeah, I kind of like this sample. Uh, I want to have some fun with it. I'm thinking of maybe like an intro with this and then there's like a drop. So let's try to get some drums in here. A little drum rack, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, bam. All right, let's take this audio. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it's even in time, really. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. I kind of like that right there. So let's control E, right? Yeah, let's just do something with that. There you go. So we're going to turn this off. Okay, there's some beats in here. Okay, 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 okay. So, I kind of liked this over here. Okay, so maybe we'll just, uh... It's kind of hard. <laughs> maybe we'll move this over here. I just need a different... Yeah, fuck that one. See, I'm playing around with these and, and I'm just trying to make it work. Yeah, 
That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> got some little, little, little vocal chops over here now. Okay. I think we got it. I think we got it. All right. So we take this, duplicate it, duplicate. Yeah. Pitch bands. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Dark day, the cut the all right, let's do let's get some wubs in here. Uh, dark techno, no. Uh, Okay, so let's get some more fills in here. That might be cool. So, we had a lot of fun. I tried to make this sample work and I did some really cool things with this. So, let's listen to it. Yeah, and there we go. And I had a lot of fun using that sample, trying to make it work, figuring it out. And I saw the sample and I'm like, oh wait, I should chop it. You know, it just really challenges me. So I hope you guys like this. This beat is kind of mid, but if you liked it, please leave a comment and a like, and I'll make more stuff like this. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming. Make sure you join my Patreon. Make sure you follow the channel. And I do hang out on Twitch, but I'm going to be more focused on social media and YouTube for right now. So definitely leave a comment, leave a like, and thank you guys so much for watching.